Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I have a few business tips for you today. I was just on an all day summit, success summit with eWomen Network and the founder, Sandra Yancey, and her daughter, Brianna Day. And uh, I took away some good little nuggets. I was there as a sponsor, got to share what I do in my business, and that we're having a, a live virtual event as well. I am next week called Love and Money Live, uh, a virtual experience. And I'm excited to bring that back in a virtual way. I usually do it live in person. Um, but I wanted to share some tips with you, some of the nuggets that I got from the summit that I was on because they were really good points. And so I wanted to credit that I got them from uh, Sandra mostly. But I say a lot of these things myself too. Um, the first thing is that success is scheduled. If you want to be successful, you've got to schedule it in. You have to get up and get it. You can't just sit there on your couch hoping it's going to happen. You can't just, you know, be on social media, maybe, and just hope people are going to call you or reach out and say, I want to talk to you, right? It's, it's crazy how much people think that success is going to come to them or that they're entitled to success. And it, entitled... Um, which brings me to the next tip, really. It's being successful is hard, but being broke is harder. <laughs> being successful is hard, but being broke is harder. And Sandra says that all the time. And yes, there's a lot of different things we have to do and different hats we have to wear as an entrepreneur. And she was saying that she had to flip her whole entire company that makes millions of dollars every year with lots of staff and you know 30,000 people or 50,000 people on her email list and so many different chapters that she runs with the organization she had to flip everything around in 3 weeks because of covid right and she worked like a dog right and i feel like i worked more in the last few months as well but you know what it's because my, a lot of my clients needed to get up to speed with this online stuff and do online courses and do online trainings and do video finally they were resisting forever right and so i've been working harder but it's doing what i love so it really didn't feel like it, it was even work frankly and I was just talking to one of my clients earlier today, right before this, and she was saying that now her she works a job part part time and she has her business part time, and now her job is pretty much at home for for, for who knows how long, but for a long time it seems like they're going to be at home. And she said she's loving it. She's like, I can work on a Saturday, I can work on in the evening, I can work whenever I want. It's really nice when I feel like working, I can work. Then it doesn't feel like work. And this is how I feel as an entrepreneur too. We can do whatever we want, whenever we want it, with whoever we want, and charge however much we want for it. <laughs> so it can be harder to be um, successful and build a bigger business, but it can also be a lot more fun if you make it fun right? You get to set your own hours. You get to decide what you want to, how you want to serve, what you want to sell, how you want to show up in the world, and um, even decide who you work with uh, when you're an entrepreneur. So it, it might be more work, quote unquote, but hopefully that work isn't going to feel like work. If you're doing the right thing, it shouldn't feel like work. That doesn't mean I want you to work 24 seven either. I do want you to get leveraged and delegate and automate and systematize and all that. So um, that's, that's the lesson I didn't write down because it's, I didn't need to learn that lesson. I already know that lesson, but maybe you need to learn that lesson that yeah, we do have to leverage more in our business, right? Um, and one of the sayings that uh, came up was, I'm not busy, I'm just living a full life. How many of you are actually saying that you're, that you're busy every time someone says, how are you? I'm like, I'm busy, right? I say that too and I want to stop it. I want to stop saying I'm busy because I really, uh, I started saying like, well, I have a lot of projects going on. I have a lot of fun projects going on right now, which I do. I mean, I have entrepreneurs who are writing chapters in my next uh, Jumpstart Your Blank book. I've got my live uh, virtual event next week, next Tuesday, Wednesday, June 30th and July 1st. Uh, what else is going on? I've got a speaking gig tomorrow. I've got two speaking gigs on Monday, um, all virtual that you could attend actually for free. Um, if you go to my event page on my website at jumpstartyourmarketing.com, uh, you can check those out and sign up. But yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of going on, but I wouldn't change it. I mean. I have to create web pages for this giveaway I'm doing in July. It's just fun. It's so fun to be creative, I think. So being successful can be hard because there's a lot of things, 
but being broke is is way more difficult and uh Okay, the next one I want to say is life is full of lessons. Lessons are repeated until learned and learning never stops, right? How many times have you had to do something over and over and over until you go, ah, oh, if I only knew how to do it this way, or you learn something and you're like, oh, now I know how to, I can do it more efficiently or more, um, be more profitable here, or I can stop doing it this way, or now I know how I can systematize it, or you just learn things all the time. Just learn them faster. Money follows speed, you guys. Learn things faster, make decisions faster, and you will see faster profits and faster cash flow and more consistent cash flow. Which brings me to the other point, which indecision is a decision. So if you are sitting in indecision or around, do I do a new website? Do I get another brand? Do I launch this program? Do I write a book? Do I hire this coach? Do I hold this event? Do I whatever, whatever your decision. If you're sitting in indecision, that's a decision that you're choosing to make to hold yourself hostage or stagnant instead of taking the next step towards your, uh, your growth and the scaling of your business. So mm, think about it next time you wait to make a decision or hold back or say, well, I'll think about it, right? Money follows speed and I have, I personally have proven that over and over and over in the last 18 years of my business. The soon, quicker um, I make the decisions to do certain things, the faster the money comes in. I don't even have to worry about making sales sometimes because I'm showing up in the right places and I'm talking to the right people and I'm saying the right things and I'm taking the right actions and I'm doing the right follow-up and things are getting done because they're in systems. I'm delegating to my team and everything is a smooth running money-making business machine now. It wasn't always that way, right? I had to do things to put things in place. That's the hard part of it, right? You have to stop and you have to do these things that may not come natural to you. Maybe you like to serve and help others, but you don't like all this back end technology stuff or the system stuff, right? Well, I'm sorry, but if you don't stop to actually think of how to put these things in place, you may not see that smooth running, uh, consistent revenue generating machine of a business that you so may desire. So I would stop and think about even if you're not comfortable or not, or you don't feel aligned with certain um, tasks that need to happen in your business, you still probably need to do them. So you need to figure out or hire someone to help you. I'm happy to chat with any of you who have questions about that. Um, just put in the comments, uh, wherever you're seeing this video, yeah, let's chat or something like that, or reach out to me. You can find ways to talk to me on my website. Uh, and uh, come to the event next week. That's what I would love to invite you to. I'm only taking probably another 20 more people. I only, I limit it to 50 people on purpose. Yes, it's a virtual event. Hundreds of people could attend on Zoom. I don't want hundreds of people. I wanna know every single person who's on that Zoom call, and I wanna be able to see your faces and talk to you directly during that event. It's very interactive. We're gonna be working on our shit. <laughs> We're going to be working on our stuff, you guys, how to get more love in your life and money in your business. If you've got mindset shifts, you know, you need to make, if you need a kick in the pants to do certain things in your business and your marketing, you know, that will bring more money. If you need some guidance on how to price things or package things or create what to create to really elevate your expert status and uh, get in front of a lot more people, increase your reach and your influence. This is the event you want to attend. I promise it's only two days. It's not even, it's like 10 to four every day, you guys. It's not that long, okay? I want you to take the time. You deserve it. I want you to give that gift to yourself. It's a couple hundred bucks. You're going to get a lot of access to me and everybody who's on the call. There's going to be networking opportunities. Um, you're going to be able to meet people and possibly even collaborate or, or get clients from the event itself because I'm really focused on helping other people network and make money as well. So if you go to loveandmoneylive.com, loveandmoneylive.com, you'll get all the details. Hurry though because there's disappearing bonuses. So whatever bonuses are on the page, know that they go away every two days up until the event. So uh, I hope to see you next Tuesday and otherwise. Uh, reach out and let's have a conversation uh, and I'd love to help you jumpstart your business, your life and anything else in between. Have a great day, everyone.